Hi team, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the attachments because there are a few questions coming through in regards to getting the attachments attached nicely on top of the PTOs. So I've had a bit of a play around with the gears in the set and really noticing that with the whole positions on our frame, it's not really allowing the gears to mesh properly and fully, um, locking the teeth into each other with the positions of these holes um, and with the choices of the gears we've got in the kit. So I've tried it both with the mini black and this bigger beige color gear. They both don't lock in very nicely at all. This one doesn't even touch so I can move freely. Um, and really, I feel that we need a hole um, at a position in between the two existing holes, but it doesn't have that position. So I thought it's, it might be something that we want to try to shift this whole frame one stud forward so that then this gear will sit in the right position to mesh with the PTO. So what I've tried is to remove this removing this black frame altogether and there's a few um, blue pins below it um, you're gonna have to remove one of them there were two blue pins here we swapped them out to the black so that there's space for us to then attach this one stud forward okay so it's going to overhang so let's try this putting in some more black pins and I'm just leaving these blue ones there. It doesn't um, interfere with anything. So you can see now it overhangs with an extra stud. Now this may be a problem when we're doing the missions if we ever want to square up at the front. Um, I don't know, it might be okay. If it's an issue with this sticking out, we might just level it off with some another layer of bricks at the front. We'll see. That's a future consideration. Now with this shifted forward, you can see there's a little bit more space there. And now if we try to hook um, this frame on top with an attachment, um, on top, this black gear is now sitting perfectly meshing with the PTO. I hope you can see that. Um, sorry. Connect it there. Okay, you can lower it down a bit now. So that's meshing nicely. So let's test this out. I've got a very simple piece of code. It's going to move this attachment on the side and swing it back and forth. Send that across and let's see what happens because we've got the axle holes up the top. Now you can see, you can see it's bouncing up and down which a few of you guys have um, noticed because of these axle holes going into these circular holes and everything is really loose because we want this to attach really quickly um, so that's causing a problem and I think the way to go is to actually um, put in some pins in there so that it actually helps it stay a bit better um, so let's put and some, some gray pins, pins. Grey pins. You can use grey pins. Um, they're going to be a bit easier to put on and take off compared to the friction black pins. Or you can use these ones. Yeah. Um, so, can you put the grey one underneath it? And you can demonstrate this one? what it does. No, the frictionless the pin. Frictionless pin? There. Don't move the bot because okay. it's right there. So, I can put the grey pins on there. I might get it up a few oh more God. and I think with some testing I'm noticing with about three grey pins it would work okay you just got to find the right holes um, so that it sits yeah attachments so three grey pins at the moment um, it's still going to be a little bit wobbly because it's a frictionless pin with but friction at pin, least it won't wobble at all at least it won't bob up and down. At least it won't bob up and down. Let's try that now. See how that goes. So you see, it's a lot more smooth. Um, <laughs> the bot just turned off by itself. The bot, the bot just turned off. And I don't know if you guys have ever noticed this, but I think when we...
we press this to turn on, sometimes the button's just stuck down there. And because it didn't pop, up, pop back up, sometimes it just turns off by itself. Anyway, I'll turn it back on now. <laughs> let's, let's run program zero again. So that's a lot better. Not yeah. bouncing up and down anymore. And yeah, I think that's going to solve the problem. So the black ears mesh really nicely in that position. Yep. Let me know what you think of it. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye.